Welcome back to the Hammersmith DIY channel. My name is Wyatt Groth and in today's product review video we're going to be going through our range of veranda balusters and spindles. The range of uh, veranda balusters and spindles we have here uh, is used for exterior use. These are products are made from radiator pine, which is an Australian and also New Zealand grown timber. And they have been H3 LOSP treated um, for use outside the home. Uh, like all of our products, anything that is used outside could obviously be used inside, but it's not really what the product is designed for. The product is designed for um, outside application where it is uh, going to be painted and uh, then used um, uh, for that purpose. So like a lot of the products which are used outside, we recommend two or three coats of paint uh, and then obviously regular maintenance over time it's because the treatment uh, is sealed in by the paint. So what is a, a baluster and spindle? Well the baluster is the items you see here, the, uh, the longer items and the spindles are these shorter items you see here. So let's talk about each of the two different segments. Right, so let's talk about the spindles first. So spindles are what we would call a, a fretwork um, purpose. So fretwork is traditionally something on a, a veranda or a porch of a home, like an exterior veranda, where uh, higher up where you'd have the fascia board, you would then have a decorative uh, fretwork below that. It serves no real purpose, there's no structural purpose, it's really just pure decoration and it's really designed around uh, homes, Federation, Victorian style homes that were built in the, in the early sort of 1900s. There are five different fretwork spindles that we sell. Uh, three of them are turned designs and two of them are laser cut designs. So we'll just start with a laser cut design here. These are panels that are 19 millimetres thick and 230 millimetres long and there are two designs. One we call the tulip and the other one is what we call the gum nut and um, obviously like leaves, leaves hang down so the gum nut is normally sort of hung in that direction um, but if you really wanted to you could put it up the other way but traditionally that's how you would put it and same thing with the tulip design. So you could imagine um, in a fretwork style scenario if that was your top fascia of a house and the the, the, the the uh, fretwork spindle would be like so and then you'd have a bottom piece of timber and as I said it's really something you'd space out along and it's something that is is really for decorative purposes. So they are the laser cut designs. Um, then the turn designs uh, you can see here uh, we have what we call the number one spindle, the number two spindle and this is our, uh, our ASO 25, so number 25 spindle, uh, also called Tasman design. And they're the three different designs. The, the Tasman design here uh, is 42 by 42, and you would uh, obviously, same sort of thing again, have that part of your fretwork, you'd have a, um, a piece going along the bottom there like so, um, and that would just go you know, in between the decorative design. These ones here actually have a little pin section which is uh, 13 millimetres in diameter and what you would do in this scenario is you drill yourself holes, 30 mil, 13 millimetre diameter holes in your top and bottom uh, rail and then just glue them in place um, and obviously just depending on which design you like, whether you like the number one or the number two design as to which one you would go for. But as I said, these are the different fretwork, uh, sorry, spindles we have for a, a fretwork on a, on a home. Before I was showing you the spindles which would be used higher up on a home, now we're going to be talking to you about the balusters. And balusters typically, or a balustrade, would normally be something that would be lower down. It would be something that is at, at ground level and would serve normally as a barrier. So, for example, it might be something that you have a second story um, uh, balcony and you want to put up a balustrade on a traditional looking home or maybe it's uh, you want to section something off on a particular veranda or something like that, that is normally where you would use uh, a baluster. And we produce four different types of balusters for use outside. Two of them obviously match the spindles I showed you before. You've got the, um, the, the tulip, tulip type design here. Uh, it's probably hard to see, what have we got? Well, this, is a this traditionally is the way it would actually stand, uh, the tulip design here. Once again, this is laser cut out. Uh, that's why, I don't know if you can get a close-up on this, 
That's why um, you can see here, this is all black inside here. And the reason that's black is it's because it's actually cut out with a laser. Um, so it kind of burns it, but it, it quite, gives quite an effective look, I've got to say. Um, and then the other design is obviously the gum nut. Um, this is the way you would normally have it up. As, as I said, leaves hang down, they don't hang up. But um, you know, if you really wanted to, there's nothing stopping you from putting it the other way around. So these are two designs that are actually quite popular in sort of Queenslander style homes. Um, and traditionally what you would do is you would have some plain uh, balusters. So these are 19 mil thick panels. So you'd have just some plain balusters, which might be, they'd all be 19 millimeters thick, but they might be 42 mil wide or 66 or something like that. And you'd have a series of plain ones and then you'd have a decorative one and then a series of plain ones. Um, there's any number of different uh, combinations you could do to, to, to come up with a particular design that you're looking for. If you don't like these laser cut designs, then what you can have are uh, more of a traditional baluster. And these balusters here that we produce are manufactured out of 42 by 42 mil material. They're uh, one meter in length. Uh, the idea of being a meter is something you can trim back accordingly. Um, I should have said that the, uh, the panels we do here are 930 millimeters in length. Same thing again, you can just trim it back accordingly as to the height of your of your balustrade you're wanting to produce. Uh, we have two different designs, the, the Tasman design, and the Tasman design matches the, the Tasman spindle that I showed you earlier. Um, and this Tasman baluster here um, is a very traditional, just turn style. And then the other one is a much simpler style. I'm not sure if you can see it here. Um, it's just got this chamfered corner, so it's quite plain, um, but uh, as a balustrade, uh, you know, it would look, look quite effective. Um, these are designed to be used as the, the, the laser cut panels obviously are designed in terms of having one every so often. These are designed to be used on their own. So you would have, you know, if this was your Tasman style baluster, you would just have a series of, of balusters as you work along your balustrade and the, the same with the chamfered style design. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video today. If you like what you see, please click the like button and also feel free to drop me a comment if you have any questions and I'll try and answer any of them for you. And as I've said before, please remember to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below and also hit the bell notification, turn that to on so that when we drop new videos on our channel, you can be notified of that. And um, yeah, this is White Groth signing off. Mm -hmm.